So, our, kicking off our third group of presenters is Brittany Smith, Education Director of Clare House, a social model hospice with a 15-year history of providing care for dying people in need. So Clare House is a community home for dying people in need. We offer loving care to those in the last month of their life. The inspiration for our home came from a hospice nurse who continually saw individuals without the resources needed to die in comfort and with dignity. The solution to that problem came in 2003 when Clare House cared for its first guest. Known as a social model hospice, Clare House connects with a few organizations pioneering this innovative approach to the caregiver crisis. The caregiver crisis can be caused by a few things. It can be monetary issues. It costs about $250 to $300 per day to provide private in-home care, with long-term facilities ranging anywhere from $3,000 to $25,000 per month. It can be physical restrictions. Elderly people become unable to provide care to their aging spouses. Maybe it's lack of an available caregiver. The sandwich generation is currently providing care to their aging parents, while also raising children and maintaining full-time jobs. But whatever the reason, if dying at home is no longer manageable, Clarell steps into that role as caregiver and provides a loving home and 24-7 care. This need is unmet by government funding or by private insurance. In the last 15 years, we have provided loving end-of-life care to over 4,200 people in our community. Our guests receive around-the-clock care, and loved ones can be just that loved ones, and they're spending time in relationships rather than worrying about having to provide care. We collaborate with local medical hospice programs to provide complete end-of-life care. They provide medical management, while we provide a loving home and 24-7 care through our staff and support services. Our partnership avoids duplication of services on both behalves. At Clare House, we envision a future where people have the expectation of living well throughout dying, in comfort, with dignity, and supported by compassionate people. We believe everyone deserves a meaningful death, regardless of their resources. And all of our services are free. We don't charge our guests or families or bill private insurance. We rely 100% on community donations, whether that's monetary, in kind, like goods and services, or through volunteer time. And we are a small nonprofit with one home and 10 beds, but we are large in scope through our education program. <clears throat> we provide clinical education, community education, and we share our model. Through clinical education, we offer a unique opportunity as a clinical rotation site. Students can observe and participate in care as a holistic experience, and that significantly impacts their understanding of death and dying. Through our education efforts, last year we provided end-of-life knowledge to 420 students in 12 disciplines at 21 local colleges and programs. The students take what they learned at Clare House, incorporate it into their practice, and impact patients for years to come. Our community education focuses on sharing knowledge on end-of-life care and planning by helping start the conversation and provide the tools needed to put one's desires and priorities into action. Tragedy and death do not discriminate, so we ask people to consider what they would want in the event of a life-threatening illness or accident, how they would implement those wishes, and then share in conversation with friends and family. Last year, through our education efforts, we shared end-of-life knowledge with 811 community learners. With our 15-year history, we are a tested and effective response to the caregiver crisis. We feel so strongly that every community should have a clearhouse, so we mentor projects locally, regionally, and nationally, sharing our story, our home, and our expertise. In Oklahoma, Clare House has mentored and supported the opening of three homes like ours with ongoing mentorship to two projects. We offer our support and guidance on how to create and sustain a community end-of-life home and fill the gap in their community. Clare House is also a founding member of Omega Home Network, a national membership organization that promotes in the development and, um, of community end-of-life homes and um, improves the dying experience for the, in those communities. Clarels helps foster homes in various stages of development, offering support and guidance. We share information like how to apply for nonprofit status, job descriptions, bylaws, policies, and different things we've learned along the way. Since the inception of the network, Clare House has offered direct support to 60 homes and projects and helped improve the way those communities approach end-of-life care. 
We feel like this is a, a gift of care that every community should have. So through our education and mentorship, we connect with people sharing the same mission and vision of improving the dying experience for individuals and families, not only in Tulsa, but across America.